the midterms. Congressional correspondent Kilmany Ducart is live at the event, and she's got more. Standing by with Congressman Mike McCall of Texas. Kilmany. You can see in person. Yeah, it's great yeah, to see you in person. Hey, good morning, Sean. Good to be with you. We are live from Monongahela, Pennsylvania. That's just an hour outside of Pittsburgh in this industrial warehouse. And I guess the idea here, Congressman McCall, is to get into real America and talk about the kitchen table issues that are plaguing Americans right now. And certainly it's been very interesting to look at some of the com components of the rollout of this plan. Uh, I want to talk about one area of your expertise, which is China, because there's two parts of this plan that is combating supply chains from China. Talk to me a little bit about that. The devil's always in the details. Well, first, it's great to be here outside of Pittsburgh in Steeltown, USA, real Americans, talking about our bold vision for America. And, um, you know, supply chain's a big issue. After COVID, people realized we're too dependent for them on medicine, uh, from rare earth minerals. They control about 85% of the global market to semiconductors. And so, you know, we want to break that supply chain. We want things more made in America and not in China. And so that's kind of the theme uh, of this. That's why we're here in Steeltown. And, uh, you know, that we're going to start breaking those supply chains um, and then, uh, you know, get back to making this economy strong, which is a big piece to the, the platform. If you don't have a strong economy, you don't have a good national security. But China is a threat, uh, and particularly after Afghanistan fell, I think President Xi and Putin saw the weakness in America that we were projecting weakness, and that invited aggression. So the House GOP, I know that there are a number of, of planned oversight committees. You mentioned the Afghan withdrawal, mm -hmm. but also the announcement of an oversight committee on China. What would that tackle? It would be a select committee on China, uh, and obviously I'll, I'll play a, a role with that. I will also hopefully be chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee. So uh, that would be more of an, a, an overview, not legislative, but more investigative hearings, uh, and be working very closely with the Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, I want to start passing laws to prohibit the export of technologies to China. And we're literally help, helping them build their uh, weapon systems, like the hypersonic weapon, uh, was built on the backbone of American technology. And we need to stop doing this. They, they steal it, we gave it to them, and now we sell it. We've got to stop selling them <clears throat> this technology. And also, with respect to Afghanistan, there's no accountability. Uh, no one was held accountable for what happened, uh, and that needs to be done. The oversight's going to be very tough. Uh, and remember, guess who's in Afghanistan right now? China. So the ending is pretty bleak. You got the Taliban taking over. China's there raping the rare earth minerals. And they'll probably take Bagram Air Base as well. You know, I, I want to hit on one other topic, which is the crackdown on big tech. I mean, it was absolutely disturbing to find out that Twitter had uh, foreign agents within its organization that was allowed to continue. We've seen all sorts of censorships, um, including PayPal, who recently uh, cancel the accounts of two right-leaning organizations. Uh, what needs to be done, not just to protect the privacy of Americans, as, as the uh, it was told to the Senate Judiciary Committee, you know, this is something uh, it, all senators on Twitter, their information could be compromised. Well, one of our platforms is a free people, free America, free from censorship, free from, you know, an oppressive whether it be tech or government invading your personal lives. And so, uh, you know, I know uh, Jim Jordan believes strongly. I do as well. Uh, and, uh, and with respect to censoring media, you know, even this very channel, you know, is sometimes, you know, I think a target of that. And, and it, I think, you know, that's not having to, happening to MSNBC or the liberal stations, but it's happening to more conservative outlets. And, and we think it's wrong, and you're going to see a very aggressive if we get the majority and the American people give that to us, a very aggressive Congress. All right. Congressman Mike McCall, we appreciate you being with us. And we're about uh, 15 minutes away from that town hall, which is kicking off with Republican House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Yeah, well, we will bring that speech in its entirety right here on Newsmax. Kimmy Ducart live there at the event. With uh, We appreciate Congressman McCall as well. Kimmy